Thank you for taking the time to watch the Escalera video brochure. This video is organized in five parts. Part number one was our introduction showing the Escalera climbing various types of steps. Part number two shows Escaleras moving various loads, appliances, wood stoves and inserts, vending machines, copiers, safes, and other loads. Part number three explains in detail the design principles of the Escalera. Using close-ups, graphics, charts, and an x-ray view, we will answer most of the common questions people have about the Escalera hand truck. Part number four shows the various Escalera models and the options available for those models. Part number five shows the accessories available for the Escalera. This is the Escalera model MS-66. This heart lifts the wheel up, over the edge and sets it down, and the other lifting feet come around, find the step, again lifts the big wheel up, over the edge and sets it down. This square can be used to climb thresholds also. This is the Escalera model MLA HC moving a cast iron wood stove. Winch is hand operated and has a double reduction with an automatic brake. The rear mounted swivel casters allow me to move it in the upright position, and in fact, you can turn on its own radius, they're very maneuverable. I'll go ahead and lower the wood stove down now. The reason I'm doing this is that when we go to climb the steps, we want the stove in the ideal height for the best balance point above the lifting feet so that the center of gravity is correct. The unit has a 12 foot long security strap. You simply bring it out around the stove, put the buckle right at the side, latch the other part of the buckle, push down the locking pin, and then you can cinch the belt up very tightly. I've used a piece of plywood at the back of the wood stove to protect the porcelain finish. A very popular accessory that we have is the big wheel attachment. It's used for rolling across gravel, driveways, or wet lawns. It simply has hooks which attach on the bottom of the hand truck, and then a latch which hooks on the top. You can also use it for breaking the load back by standing on a three-quarter inch axle. 
when you're tilted back, the unit balances on all four wheels. Or if you want, you can put it up on the two wheels to turn. When we get ready to go up the steps, we have to take off the big wheel attachment. So we reach down with our foot, unlatch it, let's kick it out of the way. Go ahead and roll the stove forward. Hook it up to the flue. Set it down. The Esquire can unload a semi-trailer up to 54 inches high. It's very maneuverable. It's easy to roll in an upright position even with a heavy load. The hand crank's very easy to operate. As a general rule, you only need the electric winch if you're going to be unloading a lot of things out of a semi all at one time. Typically, people will load the load into the truck and just slide the escalator into it next to their load. Folding up the retractable load support, rolling to the step. Notice that it stays about the same angle as when it was rolling along on the ground. If we stop it with a freeze frame right here, you'll notice that the center of gravity goes right up to the lifting feet. The load is balanced nicely and the angle is, stays the same as when you'd roll it down a sidewalk, so it's very comfortable. There's plenty of room to stand there. The operator is not forced to move the truck up and down in a teeter-totter effect. It just simply climbs the step just like a normal hand truck would. With this view, you can see on the right and left sides the glide belts which protect the step. The dual lifting cams lift the big wheels over and set them down gently. And then they come around and go up the next step. Going down, it's just the opposite. Cams lift the wheels up over the edge and you're on your way down. Again, the glide belts contact the step and protect it. The retractable load support can be folded back without bending down or letting go of the load and will support it fully. This snack machine is going to climb a Teflon step. Teflon is the slipperiest substance made by man. Notice how the lifting feet go well within the aluminum extrusion that is protecting the front of this step. And on a carpeted step, even with a deep pad and a thick carpet, the lifting feet grab well within the edge of the step. Roll up to the stand, lock the floor lock, raise the forks. To just below the level of the stand and slide the copier off. Onto the pallet. And 
and unlock the floor bracket. And pull away. Lift the load up. Roll the hand truck forward. Set the load down. And unlatch the uh, copier pallet from the hand truck. This allows you to bring the hand truck back. We'll have to lower the forks all the way so that we can stow the hand truck underneath the copier pallet on its back. Slide the copier pallet in a little further. Turn the hand truck around. And slide it in. The safe has been lifted up so that it's in a nice balance point with this load. Similarly to the cast iron wood stove we saw earlier. To illustrate the extreme maneuverability of the escalator, we'll go inside an FAA control tower. This is a special lift we build for moving the Raytheon digital monitors up into the control rooms. It has slightly narrower profile than our normal units and shorter forks, designed specifically for going up the spiral stairs in these towers. As a general rule, with a normal escalator, you can go anywhere that a non-power dolly will go. Because the escalator is so versatile and does so many jobs, I call it the Swiss Army knife of hand trucks. You can climb up steps, and you can climb down steps. You can roll on rough terrain with the big wheel attachment. Install inserts into the hearth by adjusting the height of the forks to the level of the hearth. Unload semi-trailers up to 54 inches high. Unload your pickup truck or van. Load your pickup truck or van and stack pallets in your warehouse. This section of the video explains in detail the design principles of the Escalera and answers most of the common questions people have about our products. The stair climbing mechanism on the Escalera automatically adjusts for different heights of steps. You can climb all the way up to a 10 inch high curb, or all the way down to a quarter inch high threshold. The operator doesn't have to make this adjustment. It's interesting to note that the Escalera climbs a tall step at the same speed that it climbs a short step. That's because the lifting cams on the Escalera have to come around until they find a short step. Besides climbing thresholds, you can also climb a large crack in a sidewalk. Again, it lifts the wheel up and hops it over the edge. This is a dissolve from a square edge step to a round edge step. Again, the Escalera automatically adjusts for round edges on the step by rolling forward, bringing the lifting cams in further. The more curved the step, the further in the Escalera moves. Notice that the Escalera six inch wheels don't touch the edge of the step. However, we can roll a non-power dolly by and you'll see that it goes all the way to the edge. Non-power dollies also tend to bang on the steps as they roll down. The Escalera lands very gently on the step as it goes down. The lifting cams on the Escalera automatically lift the large six inch wheels up and over the edge. On the way back up the step, they also lift the wheels up over the edge and set the wheels down exactly in the same place as they were when it went down the other direction.
The operating instructions on the Escalera are located on a decal on the cross member. Simply roll the hand truck until the V-belts touch the step, bring the lifting feet around, touch the step, tilt the unit forward, and then turn on the switch in the up direction. To go down, you turn the switch in the opposite direction. However, you must place the wheel the same place it landed on your way up. Again, it lifts the wheels up over the edge and you're on your way down. With the Escalero, you don't need Bruno and Moose to help you do the lifting. That's why it's a tremendous labor saving device. This chart shows on the left the labor savings and on the lower line of the chart the investment cost. Once you reach your break even point, you can actually earn profit with your Escalera and the machine will pay for itself many times over. However, a lot of people just call the Escalera a back saver. On the left is your backbone and on the right is the Escalera backbone, dual 3,000 pound test lifting chain. This is a cutaway view. First we see the glide belt, the inside of the glide belt, and then the gearbox. The gearbox on the Escalera is very efficient. The first reduction is a 6 inch pulley going to an 82 spur gear and finally to a 27 tooth sprocket. 200 to 1 gear ratio with only three reductions beginning with a half horsepower permanent magnet motor. On a full stairway with the Escalera, the operator has plenty of room to stand in a comfortable position. The weight on the Escalera is distributed perfectly. The balance point goes directly through the center of the load with the fulcrum point down at the lifting feet. On a short, heavy load like a safe, you can achieve the same perfect balance by raising the load up on the forks. Again, your center of gravity goes directly through the load with your fulcrum point down at the lifting feet. The Escalera has a single control switch. You move it in one direction to go up and the other direction to go down. The switch is spring-loaded with the center position automatically off. The wire travels down along the side frame to the automatic resetting circuit breaker. Should you overload your Escalera, the circuit breaker will automatically reset itself. The standard battery included with the Escalera is a 17 amp hour battery. It is sealed, leak-proof battery, which can be laid in any position, and it can be shipped UPS. This chart shows the relationship between the number of steps climbed up and back down again and the battery voltage on the Escalera. Notice that after you've climbed about 78 steps all the way up and all the way back down, the voltage begins to drop. It drops very gently, losing about one volt per flight of steps. As the battery voltage drops, the Escalera climbs slower and slower, and this gives the operator a good warning that he needs to recharge his battery. Because of the energy efficient gearbox on the Escalera, even with a totally dead battery, although you may not have enough power to climb all the way up the stairway, you will always have enough power to climb back down the stairway. This chart shows the relationship between the depth that you discharge the battery and the number of charge cycles or years that the battery will last. As a general rule with the Escalera, if you drain the battery down to 30% of its charge and then recharge it, you'll get up to 1,000 to 1,200 charge cycles. Another way to think of this is, is, is a rule of thumb. If you climb up and back down 30 steps and then recharge your battery, it'll last a long time. However, if you climb all the way up and down 75 to 100 steps, uh, you're deeply discharging your battery, so you're only going to get, if you consistently do that, you're only going to get from 200 to 400 charge cycles. So uh, that's the difference between the battery lasting 12 months to 18 months and it lasting three or four years. The Escalera comes with a 2 amp automatic charger. We recommend that you always keep your battery fully charged, and overnight charge is adequate to fully recharge your battery. For those few customers who do need a spare battery, it's very easy to replace the battery with the spare. They're just 
two S hooks to hold the battery in place, and two quick disconnectors for the electrical power. The stair climbing gearbox is very efficient. This x-ray view of the gearbox shows that with only three reductions, we achieve a 200 to one gear ratio. We use hardened gears and ball bearings throughout. Everything that touches the steps with the Escalera is soft rubber. We have rubber wheels, rubber V-belt glide belts, and soft polyurethane lifting feet. The V-belts maintain contact with the step, although they do no lifting, they prevent the Escalera from scratching the steps. The dual lifting feet on the Escalera stair climber put the same amount of pressure on the steps as the large six inch wheels do. This is because they're the same width as the wheels and have the same amount of surface area. It's interesting to note that some of the older Escaleras only had a single lifting foot in the middle rather than the two that we have now. Um, the reason we changed is so that the operator wouldn't have to balance the load in a sideways direction. However, there are still a lot of these older units still in use and they work fine with no damage to the steps. Another thing to notice with the Escalera is that it, as it climbs the steps, it never touches the edge of the step. As you can see in this view where we've dissolved away the wheel, notice how the Escalera lifts the load up and over the edge, never actually touching the edge. Whereas with a normal non-powered hand truck, the six inch wheels would roll all the way to the edge of the step. This is why you never hear of an Escalera breaking the edge of a step off because it never touches the edge of a step. Because the lifting feet on the Escalera push straight down on the step with a vertical thrust, we can climb any type of step surface. You can climb waxed wood, wet tile, an icy curb, or in this extreme case, a 300 pound block of ice. This step has a Teflon cover. Teflon is the slipperiest substance made by man. Notice how the weight pushes down well within the edge of the step, and the wheel climbs up and over without touching the edge of the step. The angle of climb with the Escalera can be adjusted for getting into tight situations. If you have a tall load and you have a low ceiling, you can tilt the load down. However, as you can see here, if you need to have clearance behind your back, you can tilt the load forward. The Escalera will climb in a nearly upright position, or as you saw, in a lower position. The angle can be adjusted by the operator when necessary. We have two speeds of climb with the Escalera. The 700 pound model is very fast. It'll climb one step every four seconds. The 1200 pound model is geared a little bit lower and it climbs a step about every six seconds or just about approximately one minute per flight. The Escalera uses a lightweight aluminum modular construction. However, all the moving parts are steel. All the parts on the Escalera are easily replaceable by the operator in the field, and we ship all parts orders the same day the order is received. The Escalera has numerous handholds down each side frame, as well as handles across the center of the unit. The unit has an extremely low center of gravity, so it's very light in your hands, as you can see, only 17 pounds tilted back. The Escalera is extremely narrow, like traditional non-power dollies for getting into tight quarters. We use computer-aided design to design the parts for the Escalera, and we believe that form follows function. The Escaleras come in many different models and sizes. The four units to the left are 700 pound capacity. They're from 54 inches to 72 inches high. The 1200 pound capacities are the next two units. They're in 66 and 72 inch heights. Our forklift come in four different models. We have them with and without power options. The 700 pound models come in the 54, 60, 66, and 72 inch height. With the unit is included a sealed battery, an automatic charger, and one security strap. The 1200 pound capacity units come in two sizes, 66 inches tall and 72 inches tall. They also include an automatic battery charger, a sealed battery, and one security strap. The stair climbing forklifts come in four different models, QLA-HC, QLA-EW, MLA-HC, and MLA-EW. 
Lifts are available without the stair climbing lift with only glide belts to protect the steps. Or for stair climbing, you can have the 1,200 pound capacity stair climbing gear 